What's up everybody? My name is Ghost. I play Warframe. This is a MMO third person shooter on both Xbox One, I think it's on PS4, and it's on PC. I play in the PC version with a mouse keyboard, because why not? Anyway, this is my name. I chose Excalibur. I have the MK1 Paris, the MK1 Kunai, and the Scana for my starting weapons. There's my beautiful Excalibur stats. As you can see, I haven't done anything yet. Zero hours in playtime. I can't do that because it's not leveled up. And then all of my achievements that I don't have. Anyway, this is me playing Warframe. I'm gonna play Iron Man style, so what that's gonna be is I'm gonna try getting everything by myself. Of course, there are gonna be some instances where I won't be able to, so for those instances, there will be like other people and it'll probably be just a public lobby unless I go into the chat here. And then I go into, I think it's recruiting here, and then people will recruit for things like the raid, the sortie, nightmares, and void. And for the void, if I'm going for a part that's in like a higher tier uh, rotation, like rotation C for example, I will be getting help. There, I'm not gonna solo a survival by myself to 30 minutes just to get it, because that'll be extremely, extremely difficult and extremely time-consuming, and I guess a waste of my time because then I'd have to farm for another way to get into that same mission. Anyway, this is the beginning of it. Uh, it's gonna be a fun adventure. Day one. I think I got a field drawn out of day one. I'm gonna finish up all of the tutorial stuff and get to like the main stuff where I can get regular mods and stuff. Uh, that'll be a large jump cut into the future. See you guys there. What's up everybody? We're back in Warframe. It's been, I don't know, a while since the last clip. Anyway, I'm, I have to confront Captain Vor, but before we do that, or before I do that off camera, I have a rank up to do. And it is to get rank one, so let's go ahead and do this. A Tenno must be a master of all their weapons. Prove yourself with your primary weapon. So, of course, the first thing is gonna be primary. <laughs> Once complete. Continue. I'm doing this with a bow. All you gotta do for rank one. A formidable performance. You just gotta kill this a bunch of things in your primary. Another and you job succeed. well executed. 
so I'm happy I got that rank 12. When you are ready, proceed yeah. to the navigation I am the console. Initiate level. Right here. Rank one. Silver initiate will be rank two. Anyway, that was that. Uh, I'm gonna go back to trying to kill four, and I'll let you know if that's a successful one. All right, as you can see on screen, I just beat Vor, meaning I got Vor's prize done, which is a quest. That is the basic starter quest that you can get in the game. You're pretty much on Earth. Now, that was required to go to Venus. I needed to complete uh, Vor's prize in order to go to Venus in the future. I need to apply four mods to a single Warframe. Or weapon upgrade a mod rank two and defeat three Eximuses. By doing this, I will be able to, as you can see, go to Venus, which is one of my goals. From uh, this planet here, I went through and did all of these. So I need to do Lilith, which is a defense. I think it's a five minute, and then I got this one, which is a mobile defense. If I do this one, it'll unlock this one, and this one, which will then lead me towards this one, which is fine. Operator, did you hear that? It said... <sighs> Cosmic anyway, background radiation uh, is a riot! Now that that's out of the way, I am going to go level up my weapons some more and then get rid of this bow, because it's just gone. Oh, oh, one more thing. Uh, if I go to my profile here, I go to challenges. I did quite a bit of challenges while doing the tutorial. I did this one, which was solve a cipher, which if you do this pretty well, you'll get that. Uh, bow proficiency reach rank 10 with any bow, so I'm at least rank 10 in my Paris. Counterintelligence, solve a cipher in under five seconds. I did one pretty quickly, so that one was fun. You've got uh, rank of initiate, which was your first test. Reach rank two with any warframe. Earn a thousand credits in battle. Practice makes perfect. Reach rank two in, with any weapon. Circuit of an organ, find a mod. Special agent, solve ten ciphers. Uh, we shape our tools, apply to a mod to a warframe or a weapon. And then Foundry. So these are the 11 so called achievements that I have done on this account so far, which is fine. Uh, here's my stats. I've been playing for about an hour, so the tutorial took me about an hour. I got about 9,000 in income. There's my progress 6 out of 213. And then my XP. I've done six missions with 100% sex success rate. Uh, Cypher solved 13, average ciphers, time is 4 seconds so far. I've killed 166 Grenier, 42 Corpus, 1 boss, which was for uh, total kills, 252 with 43 headshots, 354 hits, and a 35% accuracy. Most used weapon was the Scana. Most used Warframe is Excalibur, and then these are all PvP stuff. Anyway, I think I'm shaping up pretty well. Yeah, definitely shaping up pretty well. Uh, I'm gonna continue leveling my stuff up now. Seeing as Paris is 14. So it's about halfway. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. What's up everybody? My name's Ghost. Hello. We're back on, I guess this is the first progress video. Anyway, we're at the Venus Junction, which if you don't know, Warframe changed its way of getting to planets. You got challenges you need to do now, and then you get to unlock these junctions, which then connect you to the next planet. Anyway, there's challenges I had were uh, complete Vor's Prize Quest, collect 20 mods. 
Apply four mods to a single Warframe or weapon, which I just did. Uh, upgrade a mod to rank two or higher, and defeat three Eximuses, which are like special enemies on a planet. And I had to do it on Earth. So now, I can unlock this. Looks like that's Rhino. Come here, Rhino. Die, okay. That takes care of him. And then you just activate it, that's all you gotta do. Now I get the two new mods and a blueprint. See? Which now unlock this planet. Oh, now I can do stuff on this one. Uh, rescue hostage from Linea, defeat 10 Eximuses on Venus, defeat Jackal on Fossa, and complete 10 waves of defense on that Tessera in a single mission. Okay. Can do. Anyway, that's all you gotta do for that. Uh, this will be the final bit of this episode, I guess. So, I'm gonna show you real quick what I've done. Now, if I go to, to say, operator, your chosen Warframe suits I don't know. You. Show profile. Oh, I got a phone ringing. Anyway, come to challenges. I finished a bit more, and uh, the most notable one is Angel of Death. 100 kills in a single mission. Like 20 mods. I think I've already shown that one. No witnesses. 100 stealth kills. Uh, this one, which four different mods. Yeah, I'm at 20. I also did the Halloween event. Uh, that was going on from like the 25th to the 31st. I did that one. It was not solo, mainly because that no, no, it's super hard solo. So as I said, that one's a nightmare. So nightmares do get done with other people, and I did. It was grand. I got. Let's go to this inventory here. That's inbox. Equipment. Inventory. I go here. I bought two slots, so now I have four Warframe. I uh, didn't do anything with this. Uh, miscellaneous. Is that it? Yes. So I got an Orkin Catalyst, an Orkin Reactor. I got these while well, in my missions, so yeah, that was fun. But I got these two from the event, and I got the uh, Day of the Dead sigil, which is on my chest. Go over here, I'll show it to you. There we go. Day of the Dead sigil, that glowing thing on my chest. And here's my current loadout. I got Streamline, I was super lucky with that. Oh, I, not, I hit a can. Anyway, yeah, that's everything. Here's my full set of mod list right now. I need to get a new one of these at some point, but that'll be another day. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in progress video episode 2.